Yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's the Hood Tech Man back at it again. And this time, I am here to show you guys the Galaxy Note. I'm doing like a little light unboxing of the Galaxy Note. Um, and I'm going to compare it to this small little thing here. This thing called the iPhone. iPhone 4. Nothing special. I just wanted to show people that uh, this phone here is not on top anymore. This phone here is probably the best as it gets. So, I'm the Hood Tech Man. You can follow me on Twitter. At The Hood Tech Man. So, alright. First thing is first, guys. want to throw this out the way for a second. Focus in on this bad boy right here. Galaxy Note. Sick. 5.3 inches, man. Y'all thought the Evo was big. The Evo was a uh, 4.3. This joint right here, 5.3, man. So, look at this. Samsung, y'all did it, man. You killing the game right now. Galaxy Note. Super AMOLED HD. Man, even got a, a stylus pen to go with it, man. Thing is sick. Let's see if I can do this. Let me switch hands. And boom. See that? Switch hands real quick. Let's dump that bad boy out. Let me cut this on. Look at that big old sucker. Let's see. Let's cut that on. Wow. We look at what's inside the box. Of course, it's the same old, same old. I guess earbuds or something of that nature. Once again, stuff we do not read anymore. Some of you guys don't even know how to read. No disrespect. But we don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, where'd the charger go? Oh, it's because I charged it up earlier. So, yeah. And so, usually, this one came with the European charger, but I had to get the adapter to go with it. And here it is. The Galaxy Note. This thing is Mondo. Here's my hand. Let's see if I have other things to compare to it. Well let, well, let me get this stuff out the way. Let me get this stuff out the way. Okay. Let's see, man. I'm trying to do this on the fly. What else? I'm looking around to see what I have to compare to it. And uh, can't find nothing. Except for this measly iPhone. So, as I pull back. Mmm. Look at that. Super AMOLED 5.3. That joint is Mondo big. Mondo big. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Yo, shout out to Samsung. Shout out to Android. You guys was pushing the um, envelope much, much further. And uh, this is some good stuff, man. So, um... We look on the back. I'm gonna look on the back. It has this uh, amateur handle. Take off that plastic. And there we go. The Galaxy Note. Now, I would say this, guys. This Galaxy Note is one of the best devices out. Well, actually, not out in America as of yet. Because this, uh, the screen is so beautiful. It's a 5.3 inch screen. Super AMOLED HD. Very, very vibrant. Very, very colorful. I'm going to try to see if I cut the display up a lot more. Settings. Display. Brightness. And boom. It's, it's just... It's just incredible. And, and you know what's crazy about this Galaxy Note? Is when I go out in public, people are like, yo, what the hell is that? Is that a tablet or some kind of shit? <clears throat> I, I mean, some people say it's a tablet. Some people say it's a phone. I say it's just a big old phone. Because a tablet, to me, is this thing here. Give me one second. This is a tablet. Tablet, it's a mini computer. To me, this is a tablet. To me, this is not a tablet. To me, this is a big old phone, but it's very, very big. Shout out to the iPad. iPad 2 is killer, so I still rocks with the, with the iPad. So just because I feel that the iPhone is not the best phone no more doesn't mean, you know what I mean? I just shit on uh, all iOS. I'm just, it's just like, it's a lot of idiots out there 
that thing the iPhone is better just because it's the iPhone. So please show them this video and just just look at look how this measly phone compares to it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I mean, this is crazy. Oops, let me get. Look at this. East Compton, man. Shout out to Compton. All right, so you have this iPhone, which I think is 3.5. Let's inverse 3.5 and turn it to 5.3, and this is what you got. Look how much it just. I'm gonna put the actual screens. See the line from the screen. Let's look at the screen size. It's just insane. So I'm not gonna do any test on the um on this particular phone. I mean, you know, comparative, you know, in terms of the browser and all that kind of stuff. I just want you guys to see the different size and how that compares. So this is the Galaxy Note. This is a fantastic device. And uh, I'm going to try to put a quadrant on there. I'm trying to see if I can hurry up and do it. Let me see. Where's my market? This is my market. Shout out to Google Voice. A couple of people hit me up on Google Voice. While I get that down, man, you guys could uh, go find me on Twitter at the Hood Tech Man. Man, I keep it real. Speaking of with the technology, I got gadgets for sale, gadgets for trade. I'm always constantly running through them. So uh, let's go to Quadrant Benchmark here. I believe typing on here is really good because it's so big that typing on here is fantastic. One thing that I noticed sucks with the Galaxy Note is the fact that it's so big. We cannot put our favorite launchers on there, such as um, Launcher Pro, uh, ADW, all that kind of stuff. Go, go Launcher. I mean, we can put them on there, but it gets really laggy because I don't think those launchers were made to run such a big device like this. So if you know the Hood Tech Man, you know I fools with the, uh, the Quadrant Benchmark. So let's run the Quadrant Benchmark and let's see what that do. While we do that, let's look at the phone that once was. Wow, look at the iPhone. Isn't this cool? Look, apps, man, apps. This is tight. Look at these apps. Oh, look, they have a scroll down. Oh, this is cool. Android got that. <laughs> Yo, this big monster screen right here. This is the future of uh, of uh, the phones in America. You know what I mean? Um, I heard that uh, this just passed FCC. So hopefully if you're an AT&T customer, you can get this. Oh, oh, oh um, a lot of people have been hitting me up. All right. This phone right here, it's uh, if you put a T-Mobile SIM in here, you will get Edge service, bro. Edge service. That's slow. So if you ever brought an iPhone over to T-Mobile, you know how slow Edge is. That's that. Um, if you put an AT&T SIM in here, you're good to go. It's going to be 3G uh, slash HSPA plus, which is, you know, whatever, you know, 4G, whatever they call that. Uh, it's not real 4G. It's not LTE. But you know how that is. Um, and let me see. Simple Mobile. It's the same thing with T-Mobile. It's going to be Edge. And H2O prepaid is going to be the same thing as AT&T. So you're good, man. Shout out to all my GSM SIM people out there. And so let's see our score. Stock score. Let's see what it do. As you see, it looks pretty impressive, right? When you look at the uh, yellow or the orange compared to the blue. I'll tell you what the score is. I'll let you. I know my camera sucks. The hood tech man has to step his camera game up. But we got 3,709. That's for those who want to see it. That's 3,709. Pretty big score for a pretty big phone. I'm the hood tech man. I wanted to show you guys this monstrous phone. If you have any questions, I could do like another review. Go ahead, put the questions down. Please subscribe, man. You guys, I've just started to do this. So subscriptions is always good and all that kind of manager your handle. And uh, I have, it, this doesn't normally go like this. Let me just show you. Uh, grid view. That's how it normally comes on some side to side. But, uh, you know, I like the up and down. Pause. Actually, not pause because, you know, I like the up and down with the ladies. You feel me? But uh, that's that. And uh, I'm the hood tech man. Y'all hit me up.